Gary from Kingwood has questions about trash treasures. He says e everything that's got wet is being treated as toxic, Tom. It, uh, it's bugging him. Gary writes, water touched or infected these items for no more than 36 hours. He's talking plastic toys, washing machines, refrigerators, wood tables, metal pots. Everything <laughs> is being thrown out under the guise of toxicity. I'd like some clarity on whether this is necessary. I mean, what about the grass and sandboxes and wooden swing sets? So <laughs> oh, the do, sandboxes. Do we have to throw those out too? <laughs> the kitty litters. So, so, so Tom, and then he gets into the city water too, but we're not going to go there. I wouldn't so, drink it. What, so, so, so what say you, Tom? What about this? Because I see stuff. I know exactly where Gary's coming from. I see some hardwood furniture sitting out there on the front lawns. I'm thinking, man, I'm not sure that had to be thrown out. It doesn't. It can all be disinfected. It can be fungicide. There's so many good products out there. Simple Green is a great product. You could be cleaning all these things up with Simple Green and follow the directions of toys and stuff because you don't want your kids putting chemicals in their mouths. So this is a, a, a pH balanced organic type cleaner. Uh, then you have products like Consan 20 that can clean fabrics in car seats and stuff and get rid of, of all the bacterias and the molds. Just follow the label directions on the back of the bottle as you mix it. So there's a lot of ways to clean this stuff up. It's when it gets into the walls and, and all and the sheetrock and stuff. That's got to go. Come on. And cabinets and places you can't get to. But no, you can. There's a lot of treasures out there. And if you're a hoarder, this is a hoarder's paradise. <laughs> <laughs> you have a question? Send it our way at homeshowradio.com. Or you can watch more answers here. Be sure and subscribe.